What's up, YouTube, and welcome back. Well, you might be here for the C10, but today we got a new package. I've been wanting for a long time is a drill press. This one is Harbor Freight. It was on clearance for 300 bucks. Let's open it up. So I'm going to pull everything out because I don't have a camera guy because I don't think he'd be very good at it. And we will look at the parts. On top, this is cast. Obviously, it's a really rough cast, but I mean, it's a cheaper drill press. This is pretty light, in my opinion. Uh, the motor itself is fairly decent. Let's see. Here's the stand part for it. I'll go on there. Go ahead and get this bolted up real quick. That is bolted down. They just bolt to the top. It is a 5 8. So now we're going to go ahead and put the stand piece in. I don't know, but I would probably call this really light duty. Uh, I feel like exhaust tubing might be thicker than this, or this is exhaust tubing, but polished. So we're gonna go ahead, put this in. Tighten down your two set screws. So to get to this step, what you do is before you slide this on, put this through that hole, and then put both pieces on as an assembly. The bottom of this clicks into a little bit of slack down here, and then there is, or was Parker give me my piece where is it found it so this slides up over top and then Allen wrench Parker stop so I'll tighten this on I'll be back it's pretty easy it just slips in and then tighten down the clamp down here then that's all ready. Now the fun part, getting the motor on. So I'm not sure how hard that's gonna be to get up here because this is like, I don't know, four and a half feet tall. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. It just sits on top. Over here you got your set screw and then helper. Go ahead and screw our handles in. Go way in there. Can I have this one, babies? Thank you. Mm. Up the top cover, you get this little knob. This goes right here in this hole. Need both hands for that, but uh. It's actually pretty simple to get your speed. It's got your belt settings right there. I think it was set on uh, 1620, and that is way too fast for anything I wanna do. So I set it to 360, pretty simple. So whatever smaller pulley is, like, I mean, both end ones, what you do, you just pick up on the belt, you spin it. It's like a bicycle chain. Pops off, adjust it, and then look at your diagram for the speed you want to use. Just walks right back on. This one is on 
a cam lobe, I guess. So it'll do all that stuff. So that is pretty much it, uh, except for the chuck. Chuck comes in this nice little oiled up box, I guess. I'm actually gonna get a shop towel and clean that up. And I don't know if there's actually anywhere for the chuck. So that being said, at work, it's nice because we have a magnet on the side of our drill presses. We just stick that to the magnet. I got a drill bit in there and then I'm like, wait a minute, I have a parts dish that I bought from Harbor Freight too. So uh, I was like, oh, I can just stick it on here. I'm like, wait a minute. So I guess that's cast aluminum and so is this because it don't stick. That's steel, that's steel, that's steel. That's steel, but that's aluminum. So I guess it's just gonna go up here and the truck can go in there. Kind of wish that it came with a vise that I could clamp down, but it doesn't. So I just use the clamp. It's actually kind of cool. So it's got this piece, pull that out as a safety. Don't do nothing now. So actually fairly quiet. So you have your height adjustment, so it's got inches on one side, millimeters on the other side, so if you only want to come down an inch, put the indicator on an inch, tighten down the screw in the back. And then it stops at an inch. So we're going to just set it at like three, I guess, that's the max. Let's see what it does. These drill bits aren't really the best, but it doesn't sound like the motor's struggling at all. table but oh I don't have that tightened down stick right on so I would say for a uh, cheaper beginner drill press I would suggest it. Uh, the only thing I don't really care for is the fact that the table is aluminum and how much play there is when uh, this isn't clamped down because it's, I don't know. But overall, I think the best thing to do would probably be bolt this to the floor or put it on a pallet so that way it's not going to tip over because it's kind of top heavy. And with little shop helpers like this, you don't want stuff to top heavy that's not tied down anything so if you like videos like this check out our uh, tool time playlist because i'm going to start one like comment share subscribe and uh see you on the next one